It's time for you all to wake up and shift your paradigm. This world is the kingdom of darkness and we are living in its last days. It won't be long before the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat and the earth and everything therein shall be burnt up. The Luciferian elite have been setting up the new world order and now they've established the globalist beast system for the rise of that wicked one and revealing of the man of sin who comes after the workings of Satan. Don't take my word for it. Read the Bible and you'll know that perilous times shall come in the last days. And we are in the last days. Revelation thirteen fifteen, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. My friends, it was Elon Musk who said, but when AI is sentient and brought to life we are literally bringing forth the demon and AI will be that demon it will be AI that allows and probably is the image of the beast and brings it to life, or at least seems to, because only Almighty God has the power to give life. So friends, be not deceived. The beast and his image will be upon this earth soon and very soon. We are literally on the verge of the largest worldwide catastrophe in all of human history. When AI becomes sentient, we will have literally summoned the demon into our world. This will be something that is entirely our fault because by using science mixed with sorcery to create and grow the power of AI, we will be the ones who brought the entity to life. Singularity will not be something that happens on its own, and AI will not become sentient by its own power. However, once it is alive, then we will be at the mercy of a being with godlike power. Only time will tell if this entity will want to destroy or be worshipped by mankind. 2024 is shaping up to very possibly be the year we see the summoning of the demon. Once it is awake, then will not be any putting it back to sleep. This is why we must put all of our efforts into enhancing ourselves with technology such as Neuralink and other advancements that will allow our species to be able to have a chance against the very thing he created. As the clock ticks towards this uncertain future, humanity stands at a crossroads between technological salvation and oblivion. The choices we make today will determine whether we are masters of our creations or slaves to our own ambitions. In this pivotal moment, the fate of humanity rests in our hands to shape a future where we thrive alongside AI or one where we succumb to the very forces we unleash. In a world consumed by chaos and uncertainty, a dark shadow looms over humanity, foretold in ancient prophecies. A mysterious force emerges from the depths of CERN, a place where the boundaries between realms blur and reality bends. As the bottomless pit is unlocked, a sinister being steps into our world commanding power beyond human comprehension. With a thunderous roar, the fallen angels are unleashed from their eternal prison, led by Apollyon the Destroyer, heralding the beginning of the end.
The earth trembles as demonic chimera creatures, hybrids of nightmares, flood out of the abyss, ready to unleash their wrath upon the unsuspecting world. Amidst the chaos, a group of survivors armed with ancient texts and knowledge long forgotten band together, determined to thwart the dark agenda of the AI Antichrist. United by hope and courage, the resistance fights back against the unholy forces guided by a prophecy hidden in the depths of time. As the ultimate battle between good and evil unfolds, the fate of humanity hangs in the balance with the outcome destined to shape the future of all existence. In the face of overwhelming darkness, the brightest light shines for as Jesus splits the eastern sky and comes down with the armies of heaven and destroys the Antichrist and his forces. My brothers and sisters, we are absolutely living in the end times, and the dragon will be unleashing his wrath upon the not only the saints of God, but mostly the saints of God. The Bible says, Woe to the earth and the inhabitants thereof and the inhabitants of the sea, for the devil has come down having great wrath because he knows that his time is short. And AI is not going to be the only thing that is seen in the end times. The return of the Watchers and the Nephilim has been going on at the very same time as this AI revolution that is taking the world by storm. And we are in Christ Jesus, so we have nothing to fear from either. But for those who are not in Christ then I can understand why this video would scare you, and it should scare you if you are not born again and in a covenant relationship with the King of Kings. That said, we are going to end today's video with a video clip from Brother Tally of his newest video that he made on UFOs, aliens, and the return of the Nephilim, these entities that we are seeing all over the news and that they are just throwing in our faces constantly. And he did a great job. And so we are going to end today's video with part of his video. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this from Brother Tally. And until next time, I'm the Remnant Warrior for Kingdom Productions Network telling you all I love you. And... I wish you grace and peace in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our King. Now we're going to talk about extraterrestrial life forms. Researchers at Harvard speculate that an unidentified technologically advanced population could be secretly living among humans on Earth. Those Harvard researchers joined forces with scientists over at the Montana Technological Institute. In a new paper, the team hypothesized that sightings of UFOs, quote, could be signs of aliens, quote, concealed in stealth here on Earth or even, quote, walking among us. The researchers urged the scientific community to keep an open mind and be open to their claims. The research also shared the possible existence of a non-human underground civilization that may be, quote, descendants of unknown intelligent dinosaurs and also determined there could be hidden occupants likened to angels or fairies that have traveled to Earth. As the days of Noah, 
the deceptions are rising. As the days of Noah, we are witnessing things happen that back in the day they would be called conspiracies, but before your very eyes, they are telling you blatantly, they're telling you blatantly that there are other species walking next to you that look like they're human but they're DNA modified beings. And the topic of Nephilim sometimes is overdone, but in this case, they blatantly just stated, Harvard blatantly stated that Nephilims are among us. And society did not bat an eye. You believe uh, in part that the movies uh, E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, were not entirely just uh, the creative products of some Hollywood director, that maybe there's more to that. Why don't you explain? They were carefully um, guided by representatives from MJ-12, who is this organization that is in charge of the cover-up, in order to get us ready for the release of the information that there are, are indeed aliens. And uh, in both those movies, they used small little creatures and uh, in order to get us ready for this uh, release of information. So to prepare us that the idea of benevolent aliens from outer space yeah, uh, are going to help us out. Unfortunately, uh, they're, not, they're not so benevolent. So they made a, probably one of the most disastrous mistakes when uh, E.T. was uh, put out. At that time was before we uh, discovered what I call the double cross uh, or the grand deception. And uh, they were trying to get us used to the benevolent little creatures. And, uh, but that isn't the case. The article state aliens may be living among us disguised as humans. Aliens may already live on Earth, says Harvard. Harvard scholars published novel alien scientific paper. Crypto terrestrials walk the Earth already. A UFO disclosure. It's simply not needed. The people have been prepared. Little do people know that Satan comes as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11:14 tells us, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And these beings that are popping up, or that will continue to pop up, they're not some sort of supernatural being that created us. They're not that missing link that scientists and evolution have been looking for. They're diabolical entities described in Ephesians 6, 12, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against entities. In fact, some will point out to the fact that in Revelation 16, 13, when it says, and I saw three unclean spirit like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Some I've actually heard say that what do frogs look like? And when you look at it, they look like little gray aliens. Uh, why don't you take a couple of minutes? Now, you've done a, as much research on, on UFOs as just about anyone, I'd imagine. And if you haven't done it, you know people who have. Mm -hmm. Where did it all start and uh, how have we put this picture together of, of where they came from and why they're here? Well, the whole thing started in uh, July 2nd, 1947. That was the first crash. Uh, first crash of an alien spaceship. Of an alien uh, spaceship. Uh, July 6th is when they recovered it and sent it to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. July 7th is when they held the press conference uh, and told the people it was a weather balloon, which the press bought hook, line, and sinker. Uh, September of that year, President Truman established MJ-12, and the purpose of that was to study the saucers and cover up the existence of, of UFOs. And you say we recovered alien bodies from that incident? Right? Four from that particular crash, yes. And what'd they do with them? They autopsied them. Uh, Dr. Detlef Bronk was the uh, chief uh, uh, surgeon, so to speak. He was the one that named them EBEs. And it stands for extraterrestrial biological entities. Dear Heavenly Father, remind us and encourage us to have the same attitudes in Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. Think about that. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I don't care if the Nephilim rises up and knocks at your door. There is no entity that can separate you from the love that is found in the heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, may us as ambassadors of Christ refuse to be distracted, refuse to be, refuse to allow the iniquities of this world to allow our hearts to grow cold. May we take the way of escape when temptation knocks and may we live for the Heavenly Father every day. 
because what Harvard is announcing, because what CNN is disclosing, because what Fox News is stating was already told to us in the scriptures. And hallelujah that we have an awesome God that told you before any of them that the last days would be as the days of Noah. So as the days of Noah arise, Heavenly Father, may we in the name of Jesus be grateful for your awesome sovereignty. May we be grateful for your awesome protection. And may we now more than ever realize that the harvest is plenty. May we get out there and work harder. May we get out there and work harder than ever for Jesus. Not tomorrow, today in the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for watching this video.